Simon, 2026 Nations is nearly upon us. We've got a, a new head coach and a new coaching team. Can you talk us through a little bit about the dynamics of the, the coaching setup now? Yeah, um, obviously things have, have changed a little bit with um, with Baz moving up and, and Mike uh, coming in uh, to to run the attack uh, and John Pogarty's come in from Leinster to uh, to run predominantly the scrum but, but also a, a real good focus for, for the work and the breakdown as well. Um, and then um, yeah, myself and Richie are, are working uh, similar roles as we did before, but but we're you know we're also working on uh, other elements of the defence and the attacking side of the game. So there's a bit of change. Um, you know, that we'll, I'm sure we'll all be be involved in every part of the game at some stage, uh, and, and I think that's what uh, excites us as a, as a group. Is that you know it's dynamic. Um, there's a few moving parts, but um, ultimately we're all on the same page and, and uh, looking forward to putting the squad together uh, over the next few days and into next week and hopefully putting a performance in against Scotland. You mentioned the change and, and the, the dynamic. Is that important for you personally as a coach in terms of your own development? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I've developed over the last few years um, in, in the system and I think what's been nice is that uh, I've looked at, at a side of the game in, in the attack uh, with Joe uh, and Richie that, that maybe I, I was looking more at the defence uh, before I joined uh, the setup. So, yeah, I think um, there's so many, so many parts of the game are interlinked nowadays. Yeah, nothing's done in isolation. So, there's always a knock-on effect, um, and you know we can't we can't work like that anymore. Where it's you know your your line out, your scrum, your defence, your your attack, everything has to be interlinked. And, and I think that's what that's what the way the coaching is going. And, and um, you know what I like about this group is that we all share ideas. Um, you know we're all backing each other, and and um, and I think. We'll all be, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be on the same page come, come, uh, come match day, and I think that that's, um, yeah, that's the strength of of any coaching group. And as it was uh, under Joe, it, it was, um, you know, it, it allows us to to um, spread our wings a bit as well, but also have some areas that we're going to be uh, responsible and focusing for. Day one done here at the campus in Portugal. How's the session gone? Been very good. Um, the lads have worked hard. Um, we gave them a couple of days off after the European weekend, and I think that was an important couple of days of recovery and mentally and physically regenerate a little bit. Um, came here and it was raining this morning, so uh, not the sort of weather that we expect from Portugal. But sun's been out most of the day, and uh, it's been a, it's been a good day's work. They've worked hard in the gym with uh, Jo and Rudds. They've um, they've applied themselves really well in, in some units this morning. Uh, and we've done a, a very good um, high tempo team uh, session this afternoon and um, you know it, it will keep building um, you know, we'll keep driving the standards uh, you know the players are to a man are, have, have turned up and uh, they've rolled their sleeves up and, and they're prepared to work and I think they see uh, the competition uh, within the group the quality of, of what's come in some young faces uh, some older heads some experience but uh, above all hopefully that'll drive the standards you mentioned the, the young faces and, and the new players coming in, and in particular in, in your old stomping ground at the back row. Can you talk us through the challenges there? Yeah, it's very tough to to, uh, to select the guys who are out here because they, they've all been performing really well for their provinces. We've left guys at home as well, guys who have performed really well, and, we, and there's guys who are who are on a, a sort of a longer term injury list uh, that, that aren't in the squad. So that area is competitive. It, it always is in Irish rugby, but um, I've been particularly impressed with the young guys like Caelan Doris and, uh, and Max Deegan, who perform really well at, at the top level, uh, the top provincial level in Europe. Uh, Will Connors has acquitted himself incredibly well when he's when he's been asked to, to play for Leinster and, and uh, you know, has a real point of difference in his defence. Um, and they'll be driving the, the kind of, I guess, the old bit of the older heads in, in Jack Donahue and, and CJ and Pete and uh, and Josh on you know and, and that's what you want you want guys who who come in uh, they're not daunted by by the prospect of coming into a, an environment that some guys are established some guys aren't but, but they've come in they've rolled their sleeves up this week um, and and to a man that they, they've acquitted themselves really well in a short space of time we'll see a lot more of them over the next coming few days and you know I, I think the more they get comfortable in the environment, the, the more we can provide them with a platform to go and perform, then um, hopefully we'll see that competition continuing into next week and then we'll hopefully see that in a, in a performance against uh, Scotland. Simon, thanks very much.